Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Picture this, coding with an AI companion that understands your thought process, anticipates your next move and even suggests solutions before you hit a roadblock. It's like having a coding buddy who's always got your back. And that my friends is exactly what Raplet Ghostwriter brings to the table. So the Raplet Ghostwriter has four main features. It is able to perform code completion. It is able to perform code texting. It is able to perform code explanation. And it is also able to perform code transformation. So we'll see all of these features today in this video. So let's get started. Sign in into the Replit Ghostwriter account. This is the interface that will be in front of you. On the left hand side, you can see that we have all the files. This is our workspace where we will write the code. And on the right hand side, we have a console window in which you will see the result of running your files, which are written right here in the workspace. Then you also have the option for the shell in which you can run bash commands in order to perform different tasks. So as I have already discussed that Replit Ghostwriter has four main features, code completion, code testing, code explanation, and code transformation. So firstly, we are going to see how you can perform code completion using the Replit. So in order to start doing the code completion, firstly, you have to provide a comment in the first line of your file that what you want to do in the application. So let's say I want to create a web scraper that will use the beautiful soup library to scrape the news headlines from the official website of BBC using this link and then print them out. So once you provided this comment, then you have two options. Either you can go with the suggestion which it is providing. So firstly, if I hit enter here, it is going to provide me the option to import the request. And if you want to accept the suggestion, you can simply click on tab and hit enter. And in the next line, it will provide you the next suggestion. So one option is to accept the line by line suggestions provided by the template. And the second option is to generate all of code at once. For that, you have to press Ctrl I and then it will open a new prompt box for you. Inside this prompt, once again, you will have to provide the same command which you pasted as the first line of the file. And after doing those, simply hit on enter and you will see that in a matter of few seconds, it will generate the code for you. So you can always go ahead and accept and reject it. So I'm gonna accept the suggestion and you can see that after the libraries, it has provided me all the code in order to scrape the news headlines from the provided link. So once you are happy with the code, go ahead and click on this run button. And it is going to show you all the headlines scraped from the website which you have provided to it. So in just a matter of a minute or two, you were able to create an application in Python that can perform web scraping on a particular website. So this was an example of a website in which you simply write the code and in the console you can see its output so what if you want to create an application that has a graphical user interface so you already know that tick into library is the best for creating guis in python but writing complex applications using tick into might be very time consuming and really frustrating but using the Raplet ghostwriter tool you can create the gui of your application in just a matter of few minutes and it will make your work much more efficient so I'm going to go ahead and add a new file here. I'm going to call it GUI. And inside this file, once again, I'm going to provide it the prompt to be the first thing. So I'm going to say create a login page using Tkinter that has a label and a text field for username and password and a login button to log in and it should take us to a new page called home. So here, let's say called. So once you are done with the comment, hit enter and it will start providing you different suggestions. But if you don't want the suggestions, you can always go ahead and click on control I, write the same comment right here, remove the hash symbol and press enter in order for it to generate the response. And once you do that, in a matter of only two seconds, it has created the code for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So firstly, it is creating the main window having the title login page. Then, as we suggested, it is creating a label for the username and a text field for inserting the username. And it is also creating a label and text field for the password as well. After that, it is creating 
a button called login that will act as a submit button for our application so once you are happy with the code go ahead and hit the run button and you will see that we will have a gui showing a login page for us where we have the username and a text field for the username then we have a label for the password and a text field for the password and we also have a login button which is clickable so in this way in just a matter of few minutes you were able to easily create a complete login page using ticketnil library so the code completion feature of replit code writer is very useful for improving your efficiency and performance now let's go ahead and test the second feature of replit code writer which is code testing and for that firstly i am providing a command to a file which is to create a function that calculates the factorial of a number hit enter and then simply press control i and paste the same command right here hit enter and it will generate the entire code for you you can always go ahead and accept and reject it i'm going to accept it so here is the code so once you are done with the code now the next thing is to create the test cases for the factorial function and to do so once again we are going to provide it another command saying create test cases for the factorial function hit enter and you will see that it will start providing a the function that will have the test cases in order to test this function so you already know that in python we have the test cases by using the assert so you can see that it has provided me five test cases for the factorial function using the assert you can always go ahead and set the indentation to avoid any errors and if you want more than five test cases for the function you can always hit enter and it will start providing you some more test cases as much as you want so now once you're happy with the number of test cases simply go ahead and run this project so if everything runs fine then you will see nothing here but let's say if i change it from 120 to 130 and now hit run then it will provide us an error showing that this test case has failed where the factorial of 5 is set to be 130 but if we again set back to 120 and hit run again then it will run without any error showing that all the test cases have been passed so the code explainer feature of replit is very much helpful if you are working with a new language and you don't know the function of many parts of it also if you have copied some code from the internet and you are not exactly sure what is happening inside the code then you can always go ahead and use this feature of replit in order to have a better understanding of the code so i'm gonna remove this code from the main.py file and i'm gonna paste a new python code inside it i'm not gonna tell you what this is doing so once you have the code inside the main.py file you have to keep copy all of the code or the chunk which you are unable to understand simply select it then right click and from here you click on explain and once you do that a new block will open that will show you the explanation of the code so it says that this code is a python program that uses streamlit library for creating interactive web apps it defines a function called main that performs a series of actions and these are all the actions which are being performed inside the main function and it has provided all of these actions in the correct sequence and it is also providing us that the code ensures that the main function is executed when the script is run directly and not imported as a module. You can always go ahead and regenerate the response and if you want to ask it any other question and it will provide you answer to that question. So that's a really cool feature which is provided by the replit. Now we're going to test the last feature of replit which is code transformation. So the code transformation allows you to update your code make it better or change it from one language to another language this feature is very helpful if you have written your code four to five years before and if you see it now it may look a bit boring or using the old techniques or approaches so if you sit and try to update it on your own it will be very time consuming and frustrating for you but using the code transformation feature of replit you can easily go ahead and update your code and transform it according to the modern technologies or transform the language from one language to another so let's say i have an old code and this code is actually used to test whether a string is palindrome or not by looking at the code you can see that it is following the old coding techniques there are no functions or methods created and all the lines of code are simply written inside the main function 
So if I start modifying the code and transforming it on my own, then it will be very time consuming for me. So you can easily do it using the Replit Ghostwriter. So let's say if I want to have a new function that finds out whether the string is palindrome or not and is called inside the main function or that I'm simply gonna select all of this, right click it and click on modify. Once you do that, a new box will open that will ask you to enter a prompt to modify this selection. So I'm gonna say create a function for it. Okay, so once you are done with it, simply hit enter and you can see that it is created a function for palindrome for us. So you can always go ahead, copy all of this code from here, cut it and paste the function right outside the main. Once this is done, the only thing that is left is to actually call the function. So here, I'm simply going to go ahead and call the palindrome. So once you have called the function, now your code has been successfully transformed according to the modern coding standards. You can always go ahead and run it in order to test the function. So it will ask you to enter a string to check for palindrome. I'm going to provide it medal. Hit enter and you will see that it says that string is not a palindrome because it is also matching the cases of the letters. So if I run it again and this time if I provide all the characters to be in small letters, hit enter and this time it will say that the string is a palindrome. Right, so in this way you have easily transformed your code from old programming practices to new ones. Another use case of code transformation can be changing the code language. So if you want to change the code language, you simply have to select your entire code, right click it, click on modify and in the prompt box, you have to provide it the prompt. I'm gonna say change the code to Python. Hit enter and you will see that it will change our entire C code into a python code having all of the syntax and all of the notation of the python programming language so in this way you can easily use this amazing ai pair programming tool to improve your performance and code writing efficiency that's all for this video thanks for watching